Hi, this is Dhan Lakshmi. Now I am going to teach you a new lesson and the easiest lesson, the physical features of India. So this lesson is basically about uh, how the um, our India has how many features, physical features in the sense the thing we have like Himalayan mountains, northern plains. So what and all we have, okay, the landforms in our India. We're going to see in this. So let's get started. Now we can see that uh, this is not really needed. This is this one. It's not needed. So, uh, just going to see what are the major landforms, the mountains, plains, deserts, valleys, and uh, islands we have. So, we have also have uh, the uh, rugged terrain and uh, mountains, and we have a plain land. We know, right? Then uh, it has a vast uh, physical variations. That is the peninsula plateau and uh, when the peninsula plateau and the constituents or uh, when the land masses they all the peninsula plateau we that's a uh, plateau we have and we have the northern plains and uh, we also have the himalayan mountains and the himalaya represents the youthful because it's not known as youthful because it is formed recently that is it formed not really now it was formed a million years ago it's recent okay for according to us it's uh, really back but according con comparatively it is at least okay then we have our alluvial deposits in the northern plains so it's fertile and uh, the peninsula is composed of uh, igneous and metamorphic rocks okay the peninsula plateau consists of igneous and metamorphic rocks so how it is divided we are going to see so it is divided into six things okay Himalayan mountains, northern plains, peninsula plateau, Indian desert, coastal plains, and island. Okay. Now we're going to deal with one by one. We're going to deal. Okay. What is uh, Himalayan mountains? We're going to see what is in Himalayan mountain. Himalayan mountains are just form a small. They are a young fold mountains. You know what is a fold mountain, right? If we have our India like this. It it is uh it forms uh. situated here okay yes so uh, these mountain they run from west east direction they move from which west to east direction they move okay so uh, there are many rivers going through it like brahmaputra and indus we have indus and brahmaputra going through it the himalayas represents the represents the loftiest uh, and the most uh, rugged uh, mountain barriers of the world so it is really the tough or uh, rugged mountains barrier in the world okay it covers a distance of 2400 kilometers this is important you have to learn it then you it uh, varies from 400 kilometers in kashmir to 150 kilometers in arunachal pradesh so the width uh, we have our india like uh, this right in the top right so let's take arunachal pradesh is here and sorry, arunachal pradesh is here and we have our kashmir here right so let's take we have like this okay we have our arunachal pradesh here and we have kashmir here so how the mountain goes it starts from here right it starts from here so the width here is more in kashmir the width is more it is 400 kilometers you know what is the width right this is the length and this thing is the width so it is 400 kilometers but here in arunachal pradesh it is 150 kilometers only okay so it varies okay then uh, there is a variation it moves from west to west to east and uh, we have the uh, variations is greater in the eastern side comparative to the western side and uh, we have three parallel ranges the the mountains are divided into three ranges okay first to second and we have the third at the bottom okay now we're going to see what are the variations okay now uh, the largest or the biggest the interior the great is called as the himadri okay we have the topmost mountains is called as the himadri or the inner himalayas okay then now we are going to study what is himadri and how it is uh, there okay now it is a continuous uh, it has continuous peaks it is it's like this continuous okay and the average height is 6000 meters so the average this is the average okay average height is 6000 meters that is 6 kilometers is the average 
and uh, we have it contains prominent Hima uh, Himalayan peaks that is it is prominent you can see it clearly okay it has a prominent Himalayan peaks it is 6000 meters and uh, it is it has the average height is 6000 and it is called as Himadri and it has continuous in the prominent uh, peaks okay then uh, you can see right how it moves I said right here will be the Kashmir and here you have your natural Pradesh let's say it's here so from here to here it varies okay now you can see many rivers are going through it see this all is uh, Himalaya, the Himalayas only I'll color it these all are Himalayas okay the blue color one is Himalayas only okay so as it comes this side the color actually decreases see the color becomes light because it is not dense there okay then the fold mountains of the great Himalayas are asymmetrical, asymmetrical in nature that is the fold mountains that is the first mountain they some will be like this some will be like this some will be like this they are asymmetrical that's they are not even okay and the core parts are composed of granite this core part is made up of granite it seems okay and it is bounded with snow it is made up of granite and it is bounded with snow okay and we have glaciers also we know that right it has glaciers and the range lying in the south of the himadri forms a rugged mountain system okay now the next the first we saw about the himadri next we come to the himachala the lesser mountain okay uh, then this uh, himadri uh, himachal uh, they actually are the lesser mountains so himadri has a form a rugged mountain okay it's really tough mountains big mountains now we come to the Hima, uh, himachal okay himachal they form mountains like this like a barrier okay they are like a barrier now we're going to see this mountains the red ones okay what is himachal himachal they are the lesser mountains so they are highly composed of altered rocks or compressed rocks altered rocks in the sense one rock is here on the top another rock they are altered on the top another one on the top another one i will so they all are getting compressed into one rock okay they are compressed highly compressed okay they all are altered rocks then uh, they the altitudes vary from 3000 uh, yeah, the altitudes vary from 3700 to 4500 meters so uh, the altitudes the average if i see you know this is 3000 some will be like this some will be like this okay so the average is 3700 okay this is the average and we have the minimum also right for that it is 4500 okay minimum and the maximum the average width is 50 kilometers so the average height is 3700 to 4500 and we have the average width as 50 kilometers okay then now uh, we have uh, many ranges forming there itself like pir panjal range is the longest range there the pir panjal range we have i think you have to search it we have the pir Panj uh, panjal range here okay the same this uh, you can see in this uh, map i guess yes so in this we can see the pir panjal range this range is also we have see zarka range and we have many ranges here but it pa the pir panjal range is the only range which uh, not only it also passes through the Himachal, okay and we have Dauladhar range and Mahabharat range these are the three prominent ones that is most of the ranges found there is these three then we have our uh, this range also consists of famous valley of Kashmir so this is a uh, valley place also everyone visits here and we have many uh, valleys like Kulu valley Kangra and Kulu and we have our uh, famous valley in kashmir in himachal pradesh we have kangra and kulu it is known as the hill well known hill stations so we visit hill stations right pirpanjal range dauladhar and mahabharat ranges are the ranges which goes to the himachal and we have uh, kangra and kulu and uh, in himachal pradesh and uh, famous valley in kashmir now the outermost the smallest one is the shivaliks 
So the width is around uh, the the lowest one is the Shiva legs. Okay, the width is around fifty to uh, ten to fifty kilometers. So the width there was four hundred, then it came to fifty, then it came to ten to fifty, right? So it's just coming down and down and down. And uh, the altitude, the top one is one ten to nine hundred meters, and the width is ten to fifty. Okay, kilometers. These ranges consists of unconsolidated sediments. It consists of sediments. Then you know what is sediment, right? Like ah, uh, you have seen ah uh, the top from the top the soil comes and settles down. They are called sediments. Or oh, there are many sediments in the downmost part. Okay, it consists of thick aluminium and gravel. We have alu ala ala sorry alluvial alluvium and gravel. That is sand, very fertile sand. Okay, and we have the longitudinal valley we have the uh, 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 longitudinal valley which is uh, in the shivaliks they are also called as dunts there are done quarterly done and partly done we have three dunts in the shivaliks take let's see this is the shivaliks it is divided into three dunts there are done okay quarterly done and partly done okay there is three dunts here okay now the longitudinal is the divisions of the himalayas they are divided from west to east okay from west uh, let's say the himalayas are like this from west to east it is divided okay then uh, we have many rivers going through it okay uh, it the himalayas lie between satluj and khali okay when we have satluj here and we have khali here we have the himalayas lying like this okay we have himalayas lying between satluj and khali okay yes ke You might have any friends like S K. You can remember like that S K. Yes, before uh, between S and K we have Himachal Himalayas. Okay, then uh, it is also known as Kumaon Himalayas. So the Himalayas range which is found between this S and K, it is called as Kumaon uh, Himalayas. Okay. So, ah, uh, everywhere this ah uh, uh, river will not go. In few parts, this Kali and uh, Satluj will be there. Okay, and center will have what? The Himalayas. Okay, then that is called as Kumaon Himalayas, and we have the Kali and the Tista ah uh, rivers. Okay, and the Nepal Himalayas near the Nepal also we have Himalayas, and we have two rivers there also. Lying okay, and they are known as Assam Himalayas. So we saw that Kumaon Himalayas. It ah uh, is between K S yes, K. We have Kumaon K. Okay, next we have near Assam. We have sorry near Nepal Himalayas. We have Kali T K. Okay T K. In between this T and K, we have the Himalayas. Those Himalayas are also called as Y yeah, Assam. cat okay you i think most of them are familiar with cat but this is not cat this is kat cat okay so k what is k k is sorry what is k k is kali and t is tista k a so between we have a is assam himalayas so simple right and we there is broadly divided there are many names like this you can remember like this okay then the brahmaputra marks the easternmost boundary of himalayas okay the brahmaputra and we have the purvanchal range in the the purvanchal range are also found in the eastern hills they are found in the eastern hills of the mountains purvanchal and it is covered with forests and it has densely populated of forests and animals and we have sedimentary rocks and the purvanchal comprises of we have many hills just remember any mm, uh, two or three it's more than enough okay yam yam yen p what is yam manipur hills yam mizoram manipur mizoram naga naga rava p for pa patkai hills okay yen p yam m okay yam means mizoram manipur yen is naga and patkai hills we have four hills in this I think th with this we'll complete the is completed. Thank you for watching my video. Let's meet in the next thing, which is the northern plains. Thank you. Bye.